and it's quarter to seven in the east. We are live. Very good evening, everybody. Mayday here, your tournament director and host of TGC Tours Major Championship Design Playthroughs. Great to have you along with us on this uh, Championship Monday across college basketball. We've got two playthroughs that we're going to knock out before uh, the tip off of the national championship game. I'm going to be getting with uh, Senaraja Golf Club, the animal by Thomas Hudson, oh hey cat, a little bit later on. We're going to have uh, McCory Shores by uh, Curtis Cockleroy, aka Todd Father. That will be the second half of our doubleheader this evening. I already see Stefan in the house. Hey Stefan, how's it going? Um, again, guys, we got that chat going for you on the right side of your screen. Um, we'll be doing this live. Also, I'm posting these up on demand. TGC Tours forums via YouTube, so uh, feel free to chime in the chat what you like, what you don't like, uh, good, bad, and different. Uh, the designer will all be able to see that, uh, either if he joins us or if he catches us on demand. And again, as we say at the start of every show, these uh, streams are meant to be casual playthroughs. Some minor critiquing may play take place as I make observations for playing the course for the first time, the opinions made on air are mine alone and do not necessarily reflect the view of TGC Tours administration or the judging panel in regard to your course. And again, more than happy to talk more about uh, what we say on air uh, offline, but uh, as always, make your mama proud. So, Senaraja, uh, our first one up tonight. Uh, oh, hey, Cat, one of the newer designers on the scene, Thomas Hudson. Uh, has certainly come uh, with his first few designs with some really uh, uh, radical ideas as far as, you know, looks and aesthetics and stuff. Uh, you know, some things that have been applied. I mean, I know he's he's taught me a thing or two about tunnels, which I've applied to a couple of designs. And, uh, yeah, real interested to see. I believe this is his first contest. So uh, let's see how this plays. And Thomas also one of the hotter players on the PGA Tour nowadays. Uh, in fact, I just saw he's part of the the Battle of the Generations uh, event going on at TGC Tours and um, played uh, the Sand Belt. Uh, uh, you old guys might be where he went and shot 17 under on the Sand Belt uh, earlier today. So uh, just buyer beware. Uh, by the way, before I forget, you can catch uh, all of our uh, playthroughs uh, archived and uh, our upcoming schedule by the link I'm about to post on uh, the chat. Uh, hey, Matt. Matt Fritch in the house. All right, here we go. Start with what they say is the easiest hole on the, par on the front nine, a 450-yard par four. Really skinny green to, to hit into here. Split fairway off the tee. I think the left side's almost a slightly better angle, but it's marginal enough that I don't think it's worth uh, lengthening this hole any. Seeing a lot of guys popping in. Uh, like I said, you know, say hey in the chat as we're watching through this. Uh, any comments you like to make, uh, feel free to pop them in the chat. And uh, you, know, you guys help make these playthroughs go. I mean, we had some nice, lively discussion yesterday in our playthroughs of the of the Patriot and Cypress Dune. So uh, love to see that banter going back and forth on the chat as well. Hey, Curtis. Todd Father in the house. Uh, we're playing his course second this evening in about eh, an hour and ten minutes from now. What I can already point out here aesthetically, hey, Vlad, 
aesthetically, it feels like this whole green complex could have been raised at about, I don't know, maybe three feet to get the exposure of this front bunker here, give it some definition, raise this up a little more. You know, so basically you're using the bunkers then as kind of a layering effect for the green. It's kind of interesting that he's put the chipping area back behind these bunkers. I mean, I, I might have almost built that up and made some moguls just really kind of frame the green complex. Not necessarily what he did was wrong, just more... Uh, more a personal preference on my behalf. That's dedication there. Hey, TK's in the house. 23 hours away from release, huh? TK, that's a long time to stroke it. Curtis saying he has to take his son to baseball here in about 20 minutes' time. Work out nicely. Uh, full disclosure, I'm uh, <laughs> I'm pulling a little daddy daycare duty tonight. Um, uh, my wife set a, f a function for her work, so I've got my daughter upstairs. So if at some point she comes down and runs, you know, goes, "Daddy," I might have to step aside for a couple of but uh, she knows to be on her best behavior tonight and that there might be ice cream involved afterward. Yeah, that's kind of what I'm seeing, Matt. Uh, he says the trees frame things nicely, uh, just a little too flat to show off the green complex. Yeah, it kind of gets lost there. Again, not that you know anything was necessarily wrong there. It just kind of felt like a missed opportunity. You know it, TK. I'm not sure if this little bear patch here was intentional or not. It feels like um, <laughs> it feels like we're very close to the um, to the water table here. So just raising this up would have gotten rid of this little bump. Hey, Grayson's in the house. Back at you with the bird emoji. Now, playability-wise, this seems like the landing area gets uh, gets bigger the, the more club you take. I mean, it defaulted me to a two-wood, but really, it, it feels like I've got more landing area to let the big dog eat here and hit driver, and especially trying to play out to this area, which is going to be my better angle in. Whereas if I'm trying to hit two-wood or two-hybrid into a, a pretty narrow ribbon of fairway here, should work nicely. Yeah, it's kind of what I feel there, Matt. Yeah, I mean, there, I certainly have, I, there's like no reason to uh, play it safe. Okay, he's, he's done some work to blend in the transition here. He's made the effort to blend it. I might have... I mean, I get what he's doing, because he's trying to work around this grandstand here. I might have just carried this light rough band, even with the grandstand, and tapered it into the green a little back here, but uh, that, that that's Nick Picky stuff. Yeah, I agree, Matt. Uh, as far as strategy-wise, that's just uh, a 
let the big dog eat. I mean, the only only way that drive gets really scary is if you're playing into a into a strong headwind. <laughs> Sankara crack. <laughs> Too soon, Terry. Too soon. Nice little lively group in chat tonight. I love it. For some reason, I didn't see the CH on that uh, scab at first, so I saw I saw it was almost time to get effing. I'm like, what? So I take it that means you got the gig, uh, TK? Ah, too much. Too much break there. Well, best of luck to ya. You know what they say, if you can't stand the heat, grab another bottle of hot sauce. Kind of interesting, this, uh, well, I've got the society flags in, so I can't really, really tell what hole this is. This feels like, and I, I, I know because, uh, Thomas is more of an advanced player. This is this feels like uh, he's either telling you, okay, you got to hit a fast here, a fast, fast to clear and get the better angle. You really got to pull off a, a strong shot here, or you got to try to thread the needle, or you got to lay back. Luckily, we got a little bit of a tailwind, so... I mean, and I think if you laid it here, I mean, especially with the angle you're given, I mean, it's a pretty clean angle. So I'm not opposed to having that long of a long of a shot in here. So you can tell this is uh, a hole designed uh, the test uh, test some of the best players off the tee. Again, I think this is one where. You know, maybe a little tweak of the sculpting would have helped things here. You know, just bring this back end up will help that bunker pop a little bit. And then what it does secondarily on a playability end is if you brought this up and down a little bit, uh, not only now do um, you got a longer second shot if you lay back, you also have a blind second shot. So uh, that could have helped looks and playability a little bit, at least for what I think he's trying to accomplish on this hole. There's our fast. Did we clear it? Did we make it? Yes. Wild dingo burgers. Is that what you call exotic cuisine there, Terry? But yeah, I've definitely gained a big advantage by uh, taking it over those bunkers. And overall, and again, you know, we mentioned it back on one. This is another green complex that I feel would have been served by a little better sculpting. I mean, build up some mounting back here, build up this bunker. You know, maybe build up this bunker a little bit. Just kind of frame your target a little bit better. It's Red Baron Pizza and Duke's Mayonnaise. Yeah, that does sound like uh, fine dining down there in North Kakalaki. Yeah, 
Yep, Todd. Um, or Curtis, excuse me. Yep, I'm doing uh, all round one conditions. That will be what the judges consider in the pre preliminary playthroughs of your course. Hey, I'm not knocking it, but... Uh... Ooh, I got a little too frisky there and paid the price. Okay, should have seen that coming, but... That's a mistake on my part. I think we can manage, though. I think we can manage. Yeah, he's going for these runoff areas that wrap around the bunkers. Um, it's kind of a personal aesthetic choice. Ooh. I almost didn't get out of there. Holy crap. You know, I have made this a much more difficult par than it needed to be after that tee shot. Yeah, it was just an unforced error out of the fairway leading to a bogey. <laughs> so a bunker to Island Green here. Um, you know, if that's the, f the front most pin that he has, I think I'm okay with this. I think he, it, it would give you just uh, right, right between clubs, too. Darn it. I'm going to have to take my medicine here. Yeah, if that's the, the frontmost pin he's got, I'm okay with it. I mean, if he tries to stick a pin right here, I mean, that would be pretty much ridiculousness because, I mean, big false front here, island green, 200 yards. I mean, there's really no shot in the bag that's going to get you there. So, I mean, it really boils down to where he puts the pins here. I think you've got enough room right here where you just carry this false front and it's going to trickle up there. Yeah, I hear you. Yeah, I mean, you really got to be careful when you, you put the bunker right up by the green. I mean, you really, you can't do much at all in terms of sculpting. Makes things difficult. Eee. Well, that was bad on a number of levels. I should have just not worried about it and played a full shot. And just... Dealt with my 70 footer. That's what I should have done. That's the second hole, and we've had we had one of Frog Holler a similar old, or a similar design. Or similar concept, they should say. They look different, but uh, the designs were similar in concept. Uh, an island green that probably in hindsight, if the hole played, you know, 20 yards shorter, I'd be a lot better with. I mean, to be fair, this one's a lot bigger to target than the one we saw at Frog Holler, but... Uh, I'd still, that's a tough target to hit uh, when you have to hit it from a from a certain distance. But 
potentially drivable par 4 here. Very drivable par 4 here. Um, bit of a cape design, too, if you decide not to go for it. If the wind doesn't let you, it's a matter of uh, where do you decide to lay up. Kind of pick your spot. You could probably drive it to about here. Try to get a little more aggressive. Drive it up in here. Leave yourself a pitch. So, uh, I think this is another green that might have done a little better with a little up sculpting. You know, raise the green itself maybe a couple of feet. You know, give the target a little more definition. fast in it. Eh. We're going to get away with this, though. Yeah, that's, that's what I mean, Matt. I, I'd like to see that... <laughs> well! <laughs> Terry, don't go tickling on those feet, okay? Don't do it. I know you want to. Resist the urge. Don't go reaching on your screen there. That is a view I have never seen before. <laughs> Looks to be about a three foot break. One foot, two foot, three feet. <laughs> out a little bit. <laughs> I'd be afraid to pull their leg. Who knows what noise they'd make. It'd be like pulling Grayson's finger. Hold on a sec, guys. Got it, Terry. Oh, sorry about that. My daughter's down here getting set to play with some Legos. And... <laughs> we all knew. Is that, you know, Freudian slip? Were you going for shoe there, TK? Alright, 598 down 62. Boy, this. This does not feel like it's down 60 feet, does it? I mean, that second shot's somewhat downhill, but. Gosh, that's an optical illusion. I, I definitely wouldn't have guessed down 60. That's what it tells me, though, down 62 feet. Mm. Who knows, maybe HB started having Volkswagen do its telemetry. And again, I mean, this doesn't feel like down 45. But I, I tell you, I, I, from a playability standpoint, I like the sculpting here because you can use this, this slope as kind of a kickboard. And you can play a running shot in there. So you got a chance to come home in two. Again, I'd, I'd like to see a little back sculpting behind this green, you know, really make this bunker stand out. But I mean, I, I like the I like the concept of this shot. Now I think aesthetically, I might have even widened this creek just a little more, kind of brought it to the edge of this fairway. 
just to accentuate the, the the carry that you have to take on if you're going to try this shot. Really doesn't affect the playability any, but aesthetically it, it puts a little more fear of God in the player as he's trying to attempt the second shot. So I'm going to aim just right of the pin. See if we can play a little runner here. That should be all right if it carries there. Yep. That's exactly what we wanted. Oh, baby. Come on. Oh. For a second there, I thought we might have had one. That was looking like an Albi for a second. Oh, I almost thought we had one, guys. I would quick shut off this screen clip that and uh, sent it in for a slice of the action tomorrow night. That works, though. Hey, Thomas. Oh, I think I probably know why. That was probably why, Thomas. I, I'd gone in stealth mode earlier on today for something that I was doing and forgot to put myself back to appear online. Island Green here. Got to be really precise with this shot. Kind of interesting that it's ringed with bunker, but I mean, at least uh, distance wise, I mean, I think this is the appropriate link for this kind of shot. Tough target to hit. However, set it right about there. See, the thing is, though, I mean, if you, if you, and really, you know, playing it in hindsight, I probably should have played the shot right about here, because that's about as easy a putt you're ever going to get. You know, 15 footer dead straight. So in hindsight, that's what I should have done. That came out a little soft, but... But again, it's a stone flat putt, so... We'll take that. Five hundred eleven yard par four, hardest hole on the course. And our most pronounced sculpted bunker uh, so far. Really uh, dictates the strategy here off the tee. So yeah, I mean, 
If you're playing it out this side, which is the safer tee shot, then you're kind of worried about this bunker. I might have almost brought that bunker even a little closer to this green to, to kind of accentuate that angle. I mean, you kind of have to hit a hard draw into here and try not to run down to here. This looks like insta-death. So don't want to put it there. But if you somehow got it in here, you'd have the best angle. But, uh... I think I can survive going to the outside of this dog leg. And again, this is another one. For some reason, this does not feel like it's down 50 feet. It, it just, to my eye, it looks a heck of a lot flatter than that. I think think maybe the water's part of the illusion here why it doesn't look like it's that flat because you got the water right in front of it but uh, yeah it definitely looks flatter than what uh, what I'm being told on my screen here now that should hold Yeah, I think that's a good spot for this one. Now the question, wind is in slightly. think if I if I land it right in here it's gonna kick and well that goes uphill a little bit so maybe it won't run out as much as I thought all right we'll go up on a seven Alrighty, see you later, Curtis. We should be teeing off on McCory and oh yeah, that'll work. In just about uh, 45 minutes time. Planning to kick that off right at the top of the 8 o'clock hour Eastern. from the toughest par 4 to the second toughest par 4. Huh. So I can already see there's a number of different ways you can play this hole. Pretty narrow target to hit into. So. I think your I think your prudent play is actually probably a two hybrid to right here. That's the shortest route by far. I mean, you bring a little drama in the play, have the kind of fit it in between the water and the rocks of the bunker here. But I think if you if you plop it right in here, you kind of got the best play. Wait, what then if, or you could really get aggressive and try to clear this.
we're going to go rock skipping. <laughs> yeah, there's about, there's four or five different ways you could play that tee shot. And I'd, I always like to err on this side of giving the golfer too many options as opposed to not enough. You know, give the player just enough rope to hang himself. Do not want to go right here. That should work out just fine. Hit and run. By the way, let me for formally say hi to Dan Dan the Catcher Man. Uh, I'll give him a little shameless plug that uh, we'll be doing a little quiplash on and jackbox on his stream tonight coming up at uh, 10 o'clock Eastern. See if anybody can uh, dethrone who's surprisingly become the uh, funniest man on TGC Tours, and that's uh, Tanaka Khan. Boom. Oh! Wow, that broke hard at the end. <laughs> that's what I get for getting too cocky. Well, that's just expected. Like the nice, I, I like this ravine feature in front here. I like the ravine. I kind of like how this bunker bifurcates the hole. And again, do we take it up the left and leave, you know, the short angle in, or we carry this? I think going right might almost be the play here. I think one thing I'd say here, continuity-wise, is you've kind of got these, you know, little fingers and bays in this bunker. I'd like to see that carried out into this bunker as well. You know, bring some fingers and bays here and make it a little more of a, a rougher rougher look than just kind of that smooth line around the green. Yeah, we're just going to play this out to the right. This should be an easy carry. right into a bowl here. Oh, 128. Wind helping. A little backboard. Okay. <laughs> Saying he's got immature trees on his bunkers, Dan. Is that what you're getting at? All right, no premature celebration this time. Let's focus and make this thing. Oh, 
Jeremy. And ladies and gentlemen, you're seeing exactly why I am not playing in the Masters this week. That club right there. Oh, I, I'd agree with that, man. I mean, from a playability standpoint, I've had very few issues with it so far. This will be another one where you're going to have to to watch your distance control, uh, especially with a runoff behind. The fact that uh, we're playing in uh, playing into a headwind though will definitely help. Scottsdale? What the hell are you doing on Scottsdale? Is that where Webb is this week? Uh, I think I fasted myself right into the bunker. Yep. Ah, gotcha. TK starting his 24K playoff rounds. Uh. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Only shows 13 on my screen, <laughs> Justin, but, uh, oh. Oh, duh. Never mind. You're talking about uh, TGC 19. I thought you were talking about this stream. I'm like, I know that can't be right. But, uh, yeah. Hey, maybe all of Grayson's relatives wanted to see what the fuss was about. Stay below the hole. All right. Not too bad from there. I'll take that. Good call. Oh, I hope Northern Lion uh, likes his experience. Uh, what the hell? I ah, and I changed. You know, I I changed that too. Stupid PS4. I had changed that right at the start of the broadcast. And the Twitch tag wasn't showing up. Make me not happy. Well, let's just re-put in the category then. How about it? The Golf Club 2019 featuring PGA Tour. Done. Oh, no problem, Justin. I, I thoroughly enjoyed that course, so. Despite being named after a godforsaken football team in the northeastern part of the country. Ooh, this is a tough shot here with this pin. Uh, so 192 down six foot, so 90, 89, 88, 86, 76, 85, 84, 83, 83 to carry the hazard, 
Wins at 10. I almost think I gotta bounce it right between these bunkers and take my chances on the roll. And this is another one where I'm not even sure if he needed to uh, need to do much back sculpting here to lift these edges, but I do a little dome sculpting in front of these bunkers. Just give them a little more depth. <laughs> yeah, well, good to see uh, Keith going out and playing some of these courses. I mean, the more pub we get, the better, absolutely. I hope you guys have published already. Have uh, you know gotten the limelight you you, you so deserve, and uh, gotten a little moment in the sun because uh, we've we've had some really nice courses come out for this contest so far, and uh, can't wait to see what comes in in another in the next seven days plus here. Yeah, I got to just take it between the gap and those bunkers. Skip it on there. Yeah. Yeah, that's that's something where a little more sculpting, a little more contrast would uh I think really help those pop and uh make them the star of the hole. But guys, and, and see there too, I mean, at first, I mean, if you're thinking at first blush, it's like, okay, I've got to take on, you know, a tough carry over a hazard. You didn't have to there. You could play the ground game. And I was able to bounce it in between those two bunkers, you know, run it relatively close and make a, make a fairly routine birdie. Yeah. Well, and obviously Eric must not have burnt all his bridges over over at HB after uh, giving Rockman Dan the business the other night. So, different wind. I think you could drive this thing. Um, I think I want to cheat. I almost need to cheat a little bit right off this tee. Just insane. I almost think you have to uh, almost have a radius of grass outside the pot bunkers. Size them to drop into the ground. And <laughs> oh, I don't know about that. I mean... You probably got Rockman down out of his basement, running upstairs, crying to his mama. Just as it should be. Yeah, I, I, pot bunkers are very difficult to get right in this game. <laughs> and this is definitely not it meant as a fence to Eric because he's got a couple of official courses as well but uh, some of HB's decisions on official courses for this game uh, well yeah I just kind of scratch my head <laughs> you got some really good ones in there and then so much. <laughs> yeah. 
Interesting touch here with the grass bunker. We got a nice little head downwind, you know, tailwind to help us here. Aesthetically, I would have rounded off. Oops, get back there. I'd have rounded off this corner a little bit instead of jutting out the the, the light rough like that. I'd have rounded off this corner, just a little cleaner look. Kraken would deserve a spot in the next game. I mean, is you know, even with for all the hell we give it, you know, I, I think visually, I mean, that's the kind of course HB's looking, the, the style of course that HB wants to show off. Yes, Eric, aesthetically, I'm looking at asses. seeing a couple of them chat right now in my stream. <laughs> well, I haven't found any damn goats either. Challenge accepted. Almost play the ground game here and get there with a th two hybrid. Hey, Ashley. We're just having a good old time right now, streaming some major design playthroughs. We're playing Cineraja GC, the animal. Oh, we just flirted with another Albi. We nearly got one of the front nine, and <laughs> that was not a terrible effort there. That's a much harder putt for Eagle, though, I'll say that. Too much. Oh well, settle for the birdie. After a bit of a slow start, we've made our way to seven under here. Even through four. Kind of picked it up as we've gone along. And guys, stay tuned after this. Uh, we've got uh, coming up afterwards, second part of our doubleheader tonight. Uh, Macquarie Shores Golf Club by Curtis Cockrell. Thank you, Thomas. And actually, I mean, that's back-to-back -back holes there. And I've seen a few holes on this course already. I go back to that eagle we made on five. I mean, if you're thinking, you can play the ground game here, and I enjoy that. It doesn't have to be all aerial. Okay, we're definitely going up to the nine iron here. Got John turned off so you don't hear nine I run. Mm, I think we push that one just slightly.
Oh no, I want a cut of that if we're if we're having community members do the commentary. I'll get in on that all day. You know, forget John and Luke Elvey. We'll have Fritch and Reeb in the tower. Well, oh, get us. Yeah, Stay Puff needs to be in the tower. And. So, so Reeb could be a whole commentator. Oh, God. And Terry could be our Gary McCord. <laughs> no, T Terry's got to be part of the commentating team. I mean, some of the one-liners and zingers, oh my god. <laughs> that would be hilarious. Well, now, this hole's for four skins. And speaking of skins, you should have seen the Kuna skin the other night. Yes, we've got to have Terry. Terry is our Gary McCord, without a doubt. <laughs> yes, we, well, the thing is, if we put TK in the game, I mean, this would go from a rated E for everybody to... Rated MA. His ass is so tight standing over this putt, he couldn't drive a tin penny nail up his ass. He couldn't drive. <laughs> tin penny nail. <laughs> yes, we need Terry in this game. It's got to happen. It must. Sit down. Thought that wood would hold it a little more. Yeah, we can say all this stuff. Uh, Cyborg isn't in, uh, isn't in chat right now. I mean, we got to clean it up when the 13-year-olds show up. <laughs> 653-yard par 5 here. It definitely seems like you could bite some off here. much 17 is the animal almost feel like if you got really bold you could try this shot landed up in here but I don't think that gives the best angle in this case So I'll just take it down the fireway here. It is certainly a pretty nice, a nicely framed tee shot. I will say that. Might be one of the better looks we've had of the course yet today. Pushed it just slightly. Yeah, I was afraid of that. Looking at my swing line. Alright. I have left myself in a bad way here. I 
think this is my best play back up the 18th. Got to contend with a tree, but I think I'm okay with this. Ooh, funky swing line there. Had the distance, but that was a real funky swing line. Where's my pen? There we are. Well, no Albi threat on this hole, that's for sure. Oh, I did not. What am I doing? Hit the freaking ball, Jeremy. Ugh. Well, that was a bogey born out of a sheer lack of concentration. Nothing wrong with the hole there, I just screwed the pooch. That's what that comes down to. Completely screwed the pooch on that hole. Almost a little Bay Hill-esque on this finish. Interesting that he's used that pin location for pin one. That seems like a pucker power pin four location. Aesthetically, I think I'd have done more to show off this little depression here. And one, just improve the look, and two, uh, give the golfer a little better sight line. It's, it's almost a little hidden off the tee. Fight a cut with a fast downswing. Chimney Christmas. Ugh. I am leaking oil in a bad way here. Leaking oil in a bad, bad way. downhill slightly I gotta pay attention here I gotta get up and down for par to tie for first in this event there we go that'll take the drama out of that So there we go. Uh, <laughs> wait, were uh, the, the crack of thunder and the shats uh, tied together, Terry? 
did one beget the other? Because if that's the case, it might not have been Thunder, I'm just saying. Uh, yeah, so that's uh, Sinaraja. Um, Thomas, I'll come right out and say this. As far as uh, playability goes, this is light years beyond, I mean, stuff I've, I've seen of yours before. Uh, you've taken a tremendous leap forward here. This is a very playable course. Uh, very, you know, very well thought out. I mean, I had to think on a lot of tee shots. Had uh, definitely some strategy plays. Uh, some holes where you had to go aerial. Some holes where you could use the ground game. Um, I, I think there were some missed opportunities aesthetically. Uh, I'd especially look at uh, sculpting around the greens, uh, bunkers, you know, kind of framing those shots and focusing on those sight lines. I mean, you've, you've done, I mean, you're there as far as, you know, setting the environment and, you know, kind of these, you know, these scenes that you set, you're definitely there. Now, I think just kind of tuning up the detail on the in-play areas will really take your game to the next level. But, uh, uh, like I said, I mean, this was a big step up, and I'll be uh, interested to see how uh, this one does in the contest. So, tidy things up here. Everybody gets a five-star and a favorite out of me. Oh, come on. I know where I finished. So, and guys, I'm going to leave the chat open. I will be uh, taking a very short break. We will be going live once again right at the top of the hour, 8 o'clock Eastern with uh, McCory Shores Golf Club by uh, Todd Father. That's uh, Curtis Cockrell. Um, we'll get that set up for you here shortly. I'll just uh, check on the daughter for a quick moment, finalize this stream, and we'll be back in a couple of moments. So uh, stick around. I'll be right back.